G'day everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo tutorial. This week I'm going to do the picture of the hands cradling a planet. We're going to create our own planet as well to put inside the hands here. So as usual, let's get started. This one I'm going to use my pen tool down here. I'm going to make sure that I've clicked on smart mode and also click on add new curve to selective curve objects. And that will just allow me to continue with my curves on both hands. So let's get started. You can skip ahead if you don't want to watch the selection. So I'm just going to start my selection right on the edge here and I'm just going to click around the edge of the hands. Feel free to use the selection brush tool up here if you don't want to use the pen tool. But I thought this would be a good exercise in using our pen tool. So just go all the way around the hands and I'll just come back once I've got my selection. Okay, I've finished one hand. I'm just going to start on the other hand over here now and go all the way around, just doing the same as before. Okay, once we've got our selection all the way around our hands, we can come up here to selection. It's going to add our little marching ants all the way around. I'm going to cheat a little bit now and use my selection brush tool just to get into these little narrow places here. Make my brush a little bit bigger. Holding my option key down, I'm just going to select those little spots in here and then gives me the opportunity to clean anything up around the hands. As I said, you can use the selection brush tool to go and do the whole selection if you want to. So on this one now, I'm going to come up here to refine and I'm going to smooth and feather by one pixel. So sort of a large feather and a large smooth on this one and come down to output and new layer and click on apply. And that will give my hands on a new layer here. And it's not looking too bad. I am gonna use my little blur tool just a little bit just to go around the edges, just to smooth those edges off a little bit. Just on each hand here and on the fingertips as well. Just lay those fingertips a little bit. That's looking pretty good. Now, while I've got this layer here, I wanna age my hands a little bit. So I'm going to make them look a little bit older. So I'm gonna use my tone mapping for that. So click on tone mapping, and I'm gonna use this detailed one here. On my tone compression over here, I'm going to bring that down to 50% because we don't want them looking too old. My local contrast to 50% as well. A little, tiny little bit of darkening with the exposure and on the contrast here I'm going to bring this down to minus 20 just to give it that little sort of misty look as well. So clicking on apply so we're happy with that. So the next thing we're going to do is still on this hands layer come up here to select and selection from layer and it's going to redo that selection around our hands. Now I'm going to use my selection brush tool again and this time we want it on subtract so you can click on subtract up here or you can just use your option key to use subtract so we can take away some of that selection and we just want to make that selection just around the fingers on this one so we're going to take it away on part of the hand but just leave it all around the fingers here. Making my brush a bit smaller just so we can get into some of these smaller areas. 
getting the best selection that we can. I'm not going to get the greatest selection because I'm doing this a little bit quick. So if you take your time, you're going to get a really good selection. Okay, once we're happy with the selection just of our fingers, I am going to come to refine again and I'm just going to do the same with that one pixel on each one and on the feather as well. And again, I'm going to do new layer and apply. Now we've just got the fingers on their own layer as well. So let's turn on the bottom one as well. So it gives us our hands back again. So what we did is just created one layer just with the fingers. So let's bring in our planet now or create our planet. So let's come over to this picture here. And this is like a satellite picture or a picture from above. And I'm going to use my elliptical marquee tool, the round one here. And you'll find it in this little box here with all the other marquee tools. So just use this one here, elliptical. I'm going to make sure I've got this clicked on here, ticked on here from center. And it just in the center of this picture, I'm holding my shift key down to keep my shape. And I just want to make a circle. And we can bring that down a little bit. And you can see that if you don't get it right, uh, you'll have a little bit of a flat spot here. So let's Command D to get rid of that and start again. Right in the middle here, hold our shift key down and make a circle. That looks pretty good about there. I might just move it up a tiny bit and I'm going to click on refine. Again, I'm just going to smooth this by one pixel and feather it by a pixel as well. And then put this on a new layer and click apply. I'm going to copy this one now, Command C, bring it over to our hands with a Command V. Double click on that layer, come up here to our move tool so we can resize that. And that looks Pretty good. Let's hit Command Zero to get back to normal size. Once we've got our planet here, we can make it look a little bit more like a planet by coming up here to Filter, Distort, and Spherical here. Bring my little box up here. You'll see when I move this intensity slider, you'll see what happens here. So I'll just move that intensity slider. You can see that that's making that look a little bit more sort of 3D. Bring it all the way up to 100%. And then on our radius here, let's move that radius out until that planet looks a little bit more like a planet. Maybe about there, 171.5. Just have a play with that until your planet looks how you want it to look. Click on Apply. I'm going to just turn that around because I want this top bit up here. Now, to get the planet in between the fingers, we're simply going to move the planet in between both of these layers. So we've got the fingers just by themselves and the hands. So if you move this planet right in the middle, it'll pop it in between those fingers. Let's make that a little bit smaller and make our planet a little bit bigger. So let's just bring that planet a little bit bigger so it covers these areas here. And let's bring our planet down a little bit. And on our planet, let's grab our little blur tool as well and just blur that, just blur that round. Quite didn't get our selection right on that one, but that's okay. What we can do now is add some glow, which will hide a little bit of that. So let's click on our planet, come down here to layer effects, and let's add an outer glow. So click on outer glow and bring the radius all the way up to 100%. Let's click on inner glow, bring that radius up as well, just until that inner glow comes into the planet there. There we go, all the way to about 80. And we've got that inner glow on our planet as well. So we can close that off. So looking pretty good. We could have done a little bit better on our selection, but uh, that's okay. So what I'm going to do next is add a new pixel layer right on the top here. Let's grab our paintbrush tool, grab our brushes, come down to a nice soft brush. Make sure our color is white. Let's change the blend mode to overlay and come up here to our flow and drop it down to about 20%. And now we can just add a little bit more glow in between those fingers where the planet is coming through the glow of the planet and also on the fingertips. Add a little bit more glow. There we go. So another thing we can do is just fix up our background. So on the background here, click a new pixel layer, change our color over to a really dark black or a really dark blue, nearly black. Let's come over here to our fill tool here. Make sure that that color is activated and just click on the background pixel layer here. 
to create that black color in the background. So the next thing we can do right up the top is add our curves layer just to finish off and we can bring that down a little bit darker. Flatten those blacks a little bit. Sort of like a slight S curve. So there we go everybody, that's the tutorial for this week. The hands cupping the planet, the glowing planet. We created the planet just from a flat picture using our spherical filter. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial this week. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to click on the notification bell and if you'd like to support my channel you can head over to the Buy Me A Coffee site and support my channel there. But until next time I'll say to you, stay well, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.